Yeah, I my uh, approach was to um, try to answer a question that I have, and that is how segregated is Frankfurt? Meaning, um, do the people um, from other countries live by themselves and don't mix into the society? Um, and for this, I try to replicate <coughs> this map. Um, this is um, a dot density map from um, Dusty Cable, and every pick, uh, no, not every pixel, every dot inside the map is a person, and um, every dot is also assigned to a color, which um, stands for his race. In this case. Uh, Green is African American, blue is white, orange is Asian, um, and so on. Um, however, I tried it uh, yesterday, the whole day, and uh, I failed due to technical problems. I'm not that experienced as a coder, which is why I ask um, the people here to help me if they can. The, just shortly, the, the problem is I can't. Um, I can't um, count, I can't see if the random pixel is inside a EOJSON polygon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, um, <laughs> um, yeah, why, why do I want to do it like this and not like uh, um, in a normal map? I can show you, um, this is a classic uh, map showing the the proportion of foreigners in Frankfurt. Um, however, it doesn't. Sh it, it's just the percentage. It doesn't show the density. Um, so in the dark red um, places, there could be 30% um, foreigners. But when there are only 100 people, it, it doesn't show in the data uh, in the visualization. Um, yeah. So. Um, Nevertheless, um, I can talk about the, the data that I had. Uh, thankfully, uh, Open Data Frankfurt had um, enough um, data about people and their origin. It's uh, divided into German, German with migration background, and foreigners, which is perfect, and it's even divided into countries. Um, however, the, the, um, the numbers were collected in districts, and districts are very big um, um, dividers. It's a, it's a logical thing to <laughs> put everything into districts, but um, it's, for a computer, it's not precise enough. Uh, yeah, so I, I would wish to make it smaller. And the, the, average, um, the average population inside a district, I think, is around 15,000 for Frankfurt. And um, the US works with census blocks, and it's 1,500 per person average. So it's one po potential below. <coughs> uh, yeah, so um, it would be cool to make it smaller. Um, so when we have this, then we can say that um, maybe there are places where where foreigners gather more in Frankfurt, but that's not bad at all. And uh, it's quite the opposite. It's good when people um, <coughs> um, from the same culture can meet together because it's a better um, start for migrants. Um, however, it can develop into a problem when they stay there for multiple generations, um, which is why I wanted to cross examine these uh, numbers with um, um, the amount of generations people live in the districts. But this is data that um, Frankfurt didn't provide, or I didn't f find them, like for how many generations people live there. So I would wish that this is implemented. Also, um, yeah. Um, this is like a, like a mock-up when, when I would have this data with the generational um, data, I could make these kind of, <coughs> yeah, uh, 
from this I could make these kind of islands and then guess where are the people uh, who don't who aren't able to get out of the districts and based on this I would check um, um, what are the reasons for that and also if the if the housing actually um, encourages these islands you know when I, I'm not sure if it is um, if it is useful to build more houses in this place to um, encourage this um, parallel society. Um, yeah, so about the data, again, census blocks would be cool. Um, um, checking the generations of people would be cool. And the third thing is um, we have the location data, but it'd be cool to um, add um, map data about waterways and um, habitual area and parks. So when you have the, this, um, this dot density data, you can, subtract, um, you can subtract the area where people can live in because uh, this is also a distortion. Like um, some, some districts have a lot of waterways and it could mean uh, that um, on the picture, it would look like there's a lot of place, but subtracting the water, it's tighter again. Yeah, these are the three things I would like to add. Thanks.